Hello and welcome to part 6 of my little tree generation series. Last time we created the new branch and this time we're going to take a look at how we can move forward and draw. If we take the turtle and drag out here, we want to move forward in to begin with, we want to do this in relative space. So I can get relative rotation, and from this I can get the forward vector. So this is going to give me the direction forward in relative space. And I want to move forward whatever this local length is set to. So I'm going to take this float and multiply my vector by that. And that's the amount I want to move forward. So after that, I'm going to take my turtle and say add relative location and plug that in here. And then all I need now to do is to take this point and add it to the list, to the list of points in my current branch. So if we remember from last time, we have actually what I'm going to do is to create a function for this. So add point, I'm going to call it, or segment, I should call it maybe. It's actually just a point, but since I've been talking about segments and yeah, it's going to make kind of good sense. So I'm going to get the tree and get the current index, which I don't have access to here. So I'm going to make sure that I call it with uh, uh, the current index. Now the current index is here. So I'm going to feed that in like this. And then we if you remember from one of the previous videos, we saw that if I have a, an array inside a struct, then adding it to that array will not add it at all. So we need to add a local variable for this. Local, local branch, which is going to be uh, a tree branch and we're gonna set that local variable equal to this so now that we have that we can break it up and we can add a point and we will need whoops we need to add a point at at the turtle's current location. So I can just grab this and say get relative transform and plug that in here. So now I have added it to this local branch. I can set it back in my tree. So let me drag out another variable here. Say Insert add as it said array element. It's a really weird way of doing this stuff here, but anyway, so I want to add this at the index here. So I'm gonna drag this down with a reroute and plug it in here. In my item, I want to add is this guy here. Okay, so that should be the addition of the new point. So, or segment. Let me just add a comment for this. 
move forward and point. All right. Now that's the basic logic that we needed to implement here. And I mentioned last time that I forgot something with the rotation. And if we recall from the video here, of the, from the drawing here, I talked about the, the angle and the roll. So I need to add this angle when I make a new branch. So this point here, I just get the current location or tra transform of the turtle but i haven't added this rotation here i mentioned before so i'm gonna do that here now so i'm gonna just gonna add a local rotation What I need to add is to the yaw, and the yaw is gonna go in here, and that's basically what I need to do for this part here. But we have a little problem because this is gonna be working recursively. So when I call this, I add a rotation or a yaw, I then save this point here and then then I call generate branch again and that means that it's going to start over here again it's going to do some things like initialize some variables and start to ge generate new segments eventually it's going to branch again and so on and so forth but eventually it's going to finish and come out of this completed here so when it returns here the turtle will have moved from the point where it was when it entered it first. So I actually need to save this location in order to be able to backtrack and get back to the point where I were. So I'm going to add a local variable to keep this transform. I call this local turtle transform. And what I want to do here is to make sure to set this before I apply the rotation because I don't want to come back with the rotation added. So I'm going to set this. And I'm going to set it to the turtle's current transform. Okay, that should take care of the, the initial rotation. But I also mentioned that I wanted to apply a roll so they don't spawn in the same plane. And that is something I need to do after I generated my branch. So imagine you generate a branch, it's going out in one direction and then comes back and then you want to rotate it. Oh, let me just kill the phone here. And that means that we need to add another local rotation, but we want to do that afterwards. But before I do that, I need to restore my location of my turtle. So I have to drag this in and set relative transform of my little turtle to be whatever we had saved in this local variable here. And drag it out. And instead of adding something to the yaw, 
we're going to add something to the row. Okay. That should take care of that. So we we're still missing that part with the with the width scale, which I said I would update every time I added some uh, some segment, and that means that we uh, need to plug in something at the end here. So the local width scale to begin with, we come in with a one here, and every time we add a new segment, what we want to do is to take that width scale and multiply it by the segment width factor which is 0 0.9 in this example to make it smaller every time we make a step or segment and that means that what one when we run around here and eventually make our new branch it's going to be smaller than it was to begin with all right i think that should complete most of the generation of all the points let's compile and save this and it doesn't draw anything right now you can see it generates a tree with two members the first one has four points and we can see the points themselves here so this says 20 and the next one should 40 and 60. so we can see it's generating something which this is pretty useful for the segment count is not updating so let's also take care of that so every time i make a move and add a segment let's take this segment count and increase that by one so that way we can read how many segments do we generate so i'm going to say segment count equals segment count plus one and now we can read the segment count of five And it's still five. That's great. Let me say this to like eight. Oh, I have a bug somewhere because now I decided to log off. <laughs> What did it? What happened? Whoa! I got a lot of uh, branches. Why did I get so many branches? Take my branch frequency. I don't understand. We have an infinite loop somewhere. Add segment with the following call stack. Why do we have a infinite loop?
Anyway, don't need to see me bug find this really. I'm going to figure it out in a moment because anyway, we have 15 minutes on the clock and what I want to do in the next video anyway is to start to implement the the part where we render the tree and actually this part with it where we cancel and show a warning if we get too many segments. So anyway, even though we didn't completely finish the way I wanted it to, I'm going to continue in the next and actually start off by pointing out where I made the mistake. So be seeing you in a moment and bye bye.